Hey Bowtie Nation, Joseph Hogue here with the Let's Talk Money channel. And Nation, you know I love those dividend checks. A few weeks ago, I showed you how I pay my rent every month with monthly dividends. We then looked at the highest yielding monthly dividend stocks and the ones rewarding you with the highest returns. But there is a major problem to monthly dividend stocks that we still need to talk about. Volatility. Many of these monthly dividend stocks have a nasty habit of crashing lower, even as they're paying out that cash flow. For example, the Armour Residential REIT pays a wallet-busting 9.9% dividend, but has plunged more than 10% in a single day on five separate occasions just over the last year. In fact, it dropped 35% on a single day last year, and investors have only made a 4% return over the entire five years. And it's not just that risk in a big drop. Among the 46 monthly dividend stocks and funds I follow, the group has an average volatility of 25% annually. That means the investments tend to rise or fall by as much as 25% a year. Now compare that to the broader stock market and the S&P 500 index with volatility of just 19% annualized, meaning those monthly dividend stocks are a whole lot more risky. And that's never a fun word when it comes to your investments. In this video, I'll show you how to find the safest monthly dividend stocks. I'll show you the process to narrow your list for those with the lowest risk and the highest returns. Then I'm going to reveal the five safest investments in monthly dividends for your money. Stick around though, because towards the end of the video, I'll also show you the monthly dividend stocks and funds ranked for highest yields, highest returns, and lowest risk. We're getting started, but you know I've got to send a special shout out to all you out there in the nation. Thank you for spending a part of your day to be here. If you're not part of that community yet, just click that little red subscribe button. It's free and you'll never miss an episode. Before we get started though, I want to hear what's most important to you in dividend investing. In this video, I'm going to break down the stocks by highest returns and highest yield, but some of those are also going to be the riskiest you can buy. So what's more important to you? The potential for that higher cash flow, even if it comes with a little more risk, or would you rather that safer investment? So scroll down and let me know in the comments below, safety versus the higher yield. I'll be ranking those 46 dividend stocks and funds on three criteria here to show you the safest with the most potential. And I'm going to show you exactly how I found these numbers when we get started. First, I'm going to be looking at the stocks by dividend yield and total return. Now we saw in our last monthly dividend stocks video that the highest yielding aren't always the ones that produce the best return on your money and, and why it's so important to look at these price gains as well. I'm also going to be looking at the highest one day and five day losses in each stock, kind of a way to measure that oh factor in the stock. Everyone likes to say that they're a buy and hold investor with nerves of steel, but when a stock drops 20% in a day, it can test even Superman himself. I'll also be finding the overall risk in the stock along with its risk-adjusted return to show you which dividend stocks give you the best bang for your buck. First on our list of safest dividends is the Spider High Yield Bond ETF, ticker JNK, paying a 4.9% yield and producing a 36% total return over the past five years. The fund holds over 1,200 bonds of companies like Caesars, Carnival, and American Airlines, multi-billion dollar companies spread across every sector in the economy. And now the volatility is a little higher here than some of the other monthly dividend bond funds that we'll look at, but less than a third of what you'll see on those other stocks or, or even stock funds. So an extremely safe ETF here. And you're going to notice a lot of these best monthly dividend stocks on that risk adjusted basis are those bond funds or the hybrid stock funds. And there's two reasons for that. First, as dividend funds holding hundreds of different investments, they're going to be a less risky than that single stock. Also though, bonds are a lot less risky than stocks, so finding that risk adjusted return is going to favor those bond funds. Stick around though, because after I show you these 5 best monthly payers for that risk, I'm also going to break down the 46 dividend stocks by highest yields and then highest returns to give you a whole picture. Next here for safest investments, the Vanguard Intermediate Bond ETF, ticker BIV, paying a 2.16% dividend yield and producing a 20% return over the last 5 years. Now the return here is pretty weak and we're going to see that again in another bond fund on our list. The reason why this fund does so well though on that risk adjusted basis is then because of that super low volatility. Even in the worst of times, it only sold off by 5% over a whole week long period. So, so this is some ultimate protection for your money, even if it's not going to make you rich. Now, what I like about these safety investments though, is they can be a great place to put your cash if you're waiting for that market sell off for better prices and stocks. 
You can put your cash into some of these, especially those bond funds, keep collecting that monthly dividend cash flow and, and know that your money is gonna be there when you need it. And we've still got three more of those safest monthly dividend stocks to highlight, including one that has produced a 188% return over the past five years. Now though, I wanna show you how I got these numbers and how to find these on your own, but you can feel free to skip ahead with the clickable links that I'll leave in the video description below. First, I took my list of 46 monthly dividend stocks and ETFs and put them in a spreadsheet. You can see all of them here and I'll show you the table with all the yields and returns in a minute. So I've got my spreadsheet and I wanna note the dividend yield, total return over the past five years, then the largest one day and five day drop in price, and then the volatility. So I first go to Yahoo Finance here and note the name of the dividend yield and the stock. So Gladstone Commercial at $22.05 a share and paying an annual dividend yield of 6.84% on that monthly basis. Then for these other four columns, I'll have to download the price data. So I click over here to the historical tab in the menu and I can change this time period to five years and click apply. Then I can download the data here. We can start by deleting this volume column because we don't need that information. And we'll mostly be using these two columns here, the close and adjusted close prices. Remember from our previous monthly dividends video, the adjusted close gives you the share price adjusted for any dividends or stock splits. So it's gonna show you the total return on the investment better than just looking at that closing price of the stock. And next here, because Yahoo gives the data to us on that older dates first, I wanna resort this. So we'll highlight the info and then go to sort by date for the newest dates first. And this isn't something you have to do, but it just makes it look more natural to look for that most recent to the oldest dates. Now I want to find the biggest drop in the stock price over a single day as well as a one week period to get a sense of how bad it can get. So for that one day change, I'll type equals then the closing price divided by the previous day's closing price and minus one to get that percentage difference. For the five day price drop, I'll do the same thing except the formula is going to be the closing price on day one divided by the price five days prior and then minus one for that percentage. Then I'm gonna copy these formulas all the way down to show me every day's percentage change as well as the five day percentage change for every rolling week over the last five years. To find the lowest or the worst sell off in each of these, you use the formula equals MIN for minimum and then highlight all those numbers. That's gonna show you the lowest or the minimum in that column. For example, we see that Gladstone Commercial dropped 35.5% on a single day at some point in the last five years. And you can copy this formula over to find the worst five day loss as well. And you're gonna to have to rearrange this because the numbers cut off at the bottom. But here we see the stock lost as much as half its value in one week. Just two more here. And to find the total return on the investment, including the dividends paid over the past five years, I'll take the most recent adjusted price, then divide by the one at the bottom of the column. So here it's gonna be sell 1261, that's June 2016 adjusted closing price. Then I'll take that minus one to give me that percentage return, and we see that Gladstone has produced a 95% return, including dividends, over the last five years. Last one here to find the volatility or the risk in a stock, and this is an easy one. I just type in equals STDEV for standard deviation, then highlight all the one day returns for that stock. That's gonna give me a daily standard deviation. And now that standard deviation, that just tells us how much the stock tends to rise or fall over that period. It's a measure of the risk or the volatility used in stocks and we'll use this to find our risk adjusted return. And with that, I can start filling in the table and since the standard deviation was on a daily basis, I'm gonna be converting that to an annual volatility for the analysis. To do that, you just multiply this daily deviation by 15.8 to find that annual amount of volatility. And I know only the most hardcore data geeks are having fun at this point, so let's just speed up the process for all 46 stocks in the list. Next on our list of safe monthly dividends is Gladstone Land Corporation, ticker LAND, and this is one of my favorite monthly dividend stocks. Land doesn't pay a huge dividend yield at just 2.27%, but it's hard to argue with 188% total return over the last five years. In fact, Gladstone Land has produced the highest total return among the monthly dividend payers that I follow. The company is a farmland and real estate trust with 137 farms and over 100,000 total acres in 13 states. The land is leased to farmers on a triple net basis, which means the tenant pays all the costs and the trust just collects the checks. And surprisingly, it's not that volatile. 
shares have an annualized volatility of just 28%, which may seem high against those bond funds, but it's actually the 25th best in the group, so, so right around the middle of the road risk, but extremely high return. Next here is one of my favorite bond funds right now, the Vanguard Short-Term Bond ETF, ticker BSV, with a 1.6% yield and a 12% total return. Now a 1.6% yield and a 12% return isn't something that I normally jump at, but with interest rates rising this year, bonds are under attack. You still need some of that safety and the protection though, just in case stocks take another dive. So, so your best bet is gonna be in those short-term bonds where the price won't get hit as much as rates increase. And the fund has the lowest volatility of the list at just 2% annualized. Even on the worst sell-off over the last five years, the fund was down less than 2% in a day, and it's about as safe as it gets. And the top monthly dividend payer on our list, the Spider Convertible Securities Fund, ticker CWB, with its 2.5% dividend yield and 134% total return over the last five years. The CWB also ranked high on our list of highest return monthly payers, and it's easy to see why more than doubling your money over the last five years. The fund holds more than 300 convertible bonds, which is debt barred by companies that can be converted into shares of stock. It's a great hybrid investment with the safety and interest yield on the bonds, but some upside potential for return. And these are bonds of strong companies, large companies like Wells Fargo, Bank of America, and Tesla. And since the fund has that stock-like convertibility, the volatility is a little higher than you see with some of these other bond funds, but, but still way under the risk in those individual stocks. So you get that upside in stocks, but also the safety of bonds. So you've got the safest dividend stocks on that risk-adjusted basis. And I realized that was a little boring with all the bond funds, so, so I wanted to show you the monthly dividend stocks on a few other ways. Here, I'll sort the 46 monthly dividend payers by lowest risk, highest yield, and then highest return to give you a few more ways of looking at this. And here we see the top 15 by highest dividend yield with Orchid Island Capital paying a 14% dividend yield. Now, the first thing I want you to notice here is just because these pay the highest dividend, doesn't mean they produce the highest return over those five years. In fact, investors in Cross Timbers Royalty actually lost money, even including that dividend, and four of these stocks produced annual returns less than the dividend amount. You also see the volatility and those single day drops are a lot higher on these compared to those risk adjusted stocks. With those higher yields and the potential for more return, you're paying for it with higher risk. Nation, the moral here is just don't invest in a stock just because it has that higher dividend yield. You need to check the total return and how much risk that you're taking with it. Next, here's the list of monthly dividend stocks sorted by lowest volatility, so lowest risk. And it shouldn't be any surprise that these are all the bond funds, though there are a few of these other types of funds in the top 15, like this iShares Multi-Asset Income ETF, a ticker IYLD. If you're just looking to protect your money, these are gonna be the place to be. Look at that Vanguard short-term bond fund, ticker BSV. Its worst five-day drop was just 3.5%, even in the massive crash of last year. You might not get a huge return out of these, but it's monthly cash flow you can count on and price swings that won't turn your hair gray. And my favorite here shows the top monthly dividend stocks by total return, the ones producing the best combination of that high dividend yield and price returns. And not all of these were super risky either. Seven of the highest return dividend stocks were also on our list of the highest risk adjusted return. So high returns and low risk for your money. The dividend yield might not be the highest on some of these, but the company saves enough back in earnings to grow the share price and produce that total return to grow your portfolio. Click on the video to the right for the seven monthly dividend stocks that pay my rent. Seven dividend payers I use for cash flow every single month. Don't forget to join the Let's Talk Money community by tapping that subscribe button and clicking the bell notification.